hey guys today we are doing a uh, empties video and this is so full i am so ready to dig right through everything here i know for sure some of these things are not empty they're just time to get rid of stuff so i'm just gonna jump right in from the top and we're gonna see what we can dig in through here so right at the top we have my favorite conditioner this is the fudge professional color lock conditioner and this is so nice it's a pretty big bottle and uh, it does go uh, it does last a while when I'm alone but I'm not currently so it goes a little bit quickly I do think there is only one in there though but it's a really really nice conditioner and if you dye your hair like I do it is really really nice next up we just have some intimate wash this is in pretty much every one of my empties, I think. This is the Dr. Greve, which is the one that I prefer to buy. And it has, is with cranberry and aloe vera. Then we just have some small cotton rounds that I just use to put on toner and remove my makeup. Uh, I have this. <clears throat> this is a salt of the earth natural deodorant and it's basically just like a salt block that you use as a deodorant as you can see there is a lot left of this because i just didn't feel like it did anything and i just don't want to have it laying around if i'm not using it and then we have my hair color this is what is currently in my hair although it is very very faded right now this is Iro, uh, or Iro Iro Natural Premium Semi-Permanent Hair Color in the shade 110 Iro Dark Red. And this is such a pretty color. It's a really nice, dark, but still pretty vibrant red. And then it fades to this like burgundy, purpley color. Uh, although mine is a little bit orange here and there where my hair was more yellow in the bottom. Because if you remember, I had neon green hair and some of that green had turned yellow so where the hair was yellow underneath it is a little bit more orange Iro Iro though is Iro Iro though is by far my favorite brand of hair dye and I am planning to do another haul there from there soon and then I have this uh, Batiste dry shampoo this is the cool and crisp fresh scent and the spray there's still a lot in here. The spray on it just stopped working. So it was time to just throw it out. Um, this is one thing that I'm just throwing away. This is the Piz Buen After Sun with aloe vera and mint extract. I don't remember how old this is. And Piz Buen is definitely not cruelty free. So this is just going. It has a like 12 month little mark on the back here. And I'm pretty sure this has been open for at least three years. So it's going. And then we have some uh, foaming shower gel. This is the natural uh, rituals, the ritual of Sakura sensational foaming shower gel. And this is with organic rice milk and cherry blossom. And it, you just, it's basically like a shower gel, but when you spray it, it's already foaming like a shave, like a shaved foam, pretty much. Um, yeah, pretty interesting and I did like the scent and um, it is a little bit big and bulky though but I do think the concept is really interesting. And then we have a shampoo. This has a little bit left in the bottom but the pump just doesn't go back down in there far enough. So this is the Fashion Professional Extra Care Shampoo with Peach Kernel Oil. And uh, this was super cheap. I got this years and years ago, and then I just didn't want to throw it out. So I uh, used this so long to get this done, and it's finally out of here. And I am so excited. And I'm trying to be a little bit nicer to my hair and use products that are a little bit better for you, a little bit higher end. And um, that one is definitely neither. <laughs> um, I just have a bottle of vitamin B complex. This is with vitamin 7b vitamins so it has uh, tiamine riboflavin niacin vitamin uh, vitamin b6 uh, folic acid i think it's called vitamin b12 and pantoth or b5 which is a acid of some sort uh, so you can take one of one or two of these every day i usually just take one when you take one of them you have over a hundred percent of everything apart from folic acid 
So I just take one of these every day to cover my need for all of the different B vitamins that I'm not getting through my food because I don't eat animal products. Um, this is a makeup remover. This is by the H&M brand and this is the dual face gentle and effective eye makeup remover. So it had like two layers with the oil and the water and then you just chuck it up and this was really nice and efficient. It worked really really well. And uh, I got this super tiny little travel size because I don't use this type of uh, remover very often. I usually just use some sort of micellar water which is a little less oily. Uh, but it's nice to have something like this for when I'm wearing like a lot of makeup and I just want to get everything off my skin pretty quickly. Next up I have a nail polish remover. This is one of those like dip and twist things and uh, this was really tiny so it went went bad pretty quickly and it was or not bad but dry pretty quickly and then this was acetone free which is better for your nails I think but it's not as efficient so I do prefer getting one of these with acetone I do highly recommend the dip and twist type style of remover though if you haven't tried it it is so quick and easy next up we have a hair mask this is the silky soft hair mask from fancy handy which I have talked about in a favorites video and it is completely empty so it's not like you can get any information about looking inside. This just makes your hair feel so nice and smooth and I just highly recommend it if you can find any of the hair masks from Face Fancy Handy. They're so nice and moisturizing to your hair. Highly, highly recommend. Um, this is a shave gel. This is a clear one so that you can actually see where you're shaving and this is meant to be for like your intimate areas but I usually use this for my armpits because it is because it is made to be used like down there it's really nice and good for sensitive skin and I hardly ever get any razor burns or bumps when I use this so I am going to buy another one. We have some more hair products. This is a hair oil. This is the Jan Thomas Studio Argan Oil Hair Treatment for dry hair with an anti-frizz effect. That is a long name. Um, so it's just this little pump of hair oil and I got this when we went to Kristiansand and Stavanger I think, which is like three years ago. Um, and this was pretty good too. You didn't use need to use a ton of it for it to have an effect. And it left your hair feeling really nice and smooth afterwards. And it also left a little bit of a shine. I have some more hair color. This is Bleach London's Slime Light, which is a super bright neon green. And this is part of what I had in my hair when I had my light uh, lime green hair, along with Electric Banana and Electric Lizard from Manic Panic. And it lasted really, really well. And this is a vegan and cruelty-free band. It says that it fades out in two to 30 washes, which is a huge span of time. Like two to 30 washes. That's like one week or like, I don't know, three months. Like, yeah, I don't even know. That is like an insane amount of difference in the time period, I think. Um, this is the um, Eero Eero Premium Natural, again, in the dark red color. This is, says that it is in the shade 100 dark red, while this one is said that it is in the shade 110 Iro dark red. So I don't know if there's a difference in these, or if they just decided to upgrade their packaging, or what is going on there, but they do look like they're, this one is a little bit lighter in the packaging. Um, because I ordered a big one and then they were out so they sent me two of the small ones instead. Um, I have some makeup at the bottom so I'm just gonna quickly go through it. Uh, this is the Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Powder and I have hit pan on this but I just I don't use it enough because it is a colored powder and not a translucent one and it's been open for so long I just think it's time to go. This is in the shade Matte Beige which is I guess pretty close to my skin tone, um, but I just prefer to use a translucent powder over something with a color to it. And then I have the collection Long Lasting 
or no, Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. This is in the shade Fair One, which I got in London years ago. Again, it's not empty, it's just time to go. Uh, the Kix Fiber Lash Volume Boosting Mascara is one of my favorites that you can buy in Norway. My ultimate favorite is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Although I feel like it is a little bit hit and miss with that one too. Sometimes it's drier and sometimes it's wetter, which is so annoying. But this one is really nice. I do think this is discontinued though. Uh, and then I have a ton of these. Um, these ones. These are the uh, NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Creams. And the colors are so pretty, but they just don't stay on, like, if your life depends on it. There is just, they just go everywhere. And it's just so annoying that I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna bother using these anymore. So the colors that I'm getting, or that I had, that I'm all getting rid of, are Solar Energy, uh, Celestial Star, Electromagnetic, Galactic, Comet's Tail, Speed of Light, and ultraviolet and they're all so 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 pretty but I never wear them because they don't last I have another one of this uh, fiber lash from Kix it's the same as the other one and then I have three more four more lipsticks that I'm getting rid of three of these are old and one I just don't use it um, this is the um, lip tar in the Techno Pagan. Um, let me see. Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar, ready to wear in the shade Left um, Techno Pagan. And I saw someone wear this on YouTube and I just had to have it. And I've been wearing this for so long, but this is so old. It's getting gross. And the staying power of it is not the same as it used to be, so I'm pretty sure it's expired. Excuse that noise. I have the. Um, laundry and dishes going um yeah this is another liquid type lipstick lip gloss something this is in the shade beauty secret and this is by essence and you can see how this is starting to like separate and getting all nasty so it's going and then this is the next high voltage lipstick in the shade 09 which apparently does not have a name yes it does dahlia uh, so this is a really really ni nice but really dark color and I just don't like using lipsticks that much and this is also old so it's also going. And the last thing that I have for the lipsticks are the Too Faced Melted Liquefied in the shade Melted Villain. I got this as TK Maxx so this might have been expired when I bought it. And it looks really pretty, it's that one right there, but on your lips, it just doesn't look like anything. It like it gathers in fine lines, and it's opaque some places, but not other places, and it's just a mess. Um, and then I have two other things. I have the W7 The Fixer Face Spray, and the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper Black. So both of these are just empty, I like both of these. Um, but they're done, so I'm getting rid of them. And then the last thing I have in here are things that I'm getting rid of as well. So I have the Catrice Ombre Top Coat, which is supposed to make your, um, like you can make ombres with it. So it's a really thin, liquidy, dark top coat. And then as you uh, put on more layers, it turns your nails darker. I have never tried this because you have to use so many coats of it that I'm just not going to bother. And then this is the Essence Light Reflection Top Coat, which has like a soap bubble effect. And it's really pretty, I just don't use it, so it's also going. And then next, the last thing that I have in here is the Depend Top Coat Matte. And I, uh, my nails are like glittery right now, but before they were this, they were like a really nice dark black. Um, and I wanted my black nails to be matte, so I put this on all 10 of my fingers. Two of them turned matte and the rest did nothing. So I'm not sure what is up with this, but it's obviously not working the way that it's supposed to. So I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to pick up a different one from a different brand that hopefully works a little bit better. 
and that was everything. So this is a little bit nasty inside, but it is all finished. And it feels so good to do these empties videos because it shows me that I'm actually going through my stuff and using some and not just buying new things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a big like, leave any comments down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!